Cryptocurrency miners have been modifying their software and hardware since the early 2000s to meet the high power needs necessary to solve the challenging mathematical puzzles necessary to execute transactions safely. The production of visual effects or graphics was previously supported by graphic processing units or GPUs, freeing up a computer's central processor unit or CPU from having to handle processing of the intricate elements of videos or games. They are now substituting hardware that is more frequently employed in Bitcoin mining equipment to dissolve the blocks. Before we begin, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for more intriguing videos like this and be sure to watch this video to the end. Without further ado, let's dive into it. Laszlo Hanyek's May 2010 purchase of two Papa John's pizzas for 10,000 Bitcoin marked the beginning of the boom of GPU mining. Due to the intrinsic value, this gave the cryptocurrency Bitcoin mining has become increasingly popular. Additionally, in October 2010, the public had access to the code that enabled Bitcoin GPU mining. This, together with the power of a GPU rig setup and the comparatively low cost of GPUs and graphic cards, all contributed to the emergence of this mining approach. Additionally, installing a GPU into a system didn't require a lot of technical expertise or computing power. It wasn't until the development of field programmable gate arrays or FPGAs and ASICs that rigs were strong enough to transform cryptocurrency mining from a side business into a thriving industry. Central processing units or CPUs were initially used for cryptocurrency mining. The CPU-based mining approach was ineffective due to its low processing speed and high power consumption, which reduced output. Enter GPU-based mining, which is compared favorably to CPU mining in many ways. An average GPU such as the Radeon HD5970 could process 3,232-bit instructions per clock, which was 800 times faster than the speed of a CPU, which could only process 4 32-bit instructions per cycle. Processing blocks of approved transactions on blockchains for cryptocurrency consumes a lot of power. To process transactions and carry out proof-of-work mining or POW at scale, Cryptocurrency miners use specialized computers that combine software, hardware, and processors to quickly solve difficult mathematical problems and algorithms. The earliest systems that moved away from using CPUs included GPUs and graphics cards, which were initially made to interpret visual data but may now be used to do mathematical processes in parallel. The GPU's ability to conduct comparable types of repetitive computations with increased efficiency makes them better suited and more effective for cryptocurrency mining. The lone digit that changes in each attempt at decoding the various hashes is continuously used by the mining device. Additionally, GPUs feature a sizable number of arithmetic logic units or ALU which are used to carry out mathematical operations. The GPU can now handle more calculations thanks to these ALUs which improves the output for the crypto mining process. Each typical computer is outfitted with a central processing unit or CPU, a processing device that serves as the overall computer system's master. Based on the reasoning of the operating system and the installed applications, it executes the controlling operations for the entire machine. The CPU is in charge of typical operations like printing this spreadsheet, saving this file as MS Word, and playing that video in VLC Media Player. Another processing device, a GPU, is used only for handling display-related tasks. It is the component of a computer that controls the way that system renders a video. A GPU's typical job is to handle and regulate the rendering of 3D graphics and visual effects, freeing the CPU from having to handle the finer points of video rendering. It handles graphics-intensive operations including video editing, game display, and 3D video and animation decoding and rendering. To use an analogy, the master CPU controlling the entire company or the computer system has a devoted worker or GPU to look after a particular division, video rendering functions. With this configuration, the CPU can manage the computer's high-level, diverse operations while the GPU handles the video functions for which it is most suited. The work of opening a video file in a Windows Media Player is carried out by the CPU, while the GPU is then responsible for rendering the file properly. GPU mining is the current industry standard for mining bitcoins because it is far more productive and offers much greater hash rates. Modern top-tier GPUs are unmatched by CPU processing capability in terms of hash rates and processing speed. Therefore, if you want to mine bitcoins effectively and profit from them, 
you should opt for a GPU mining rig. Alternatively, if you are willing to invest a significant amount of money in mining, you can purchase an ASIC miner machine, which is the most sophisticated type of mining computer. GPU systems utilize a hashing technique to resolve the mathematical puzzles that safeguard cryptocurrency transactions. To assist the computer in resolving this issue, this approach converts data of any size to a hash of a predetermined size. GPU mining typically employs the SHA-256 hashing technique, which the computer uses to produce an output that is always a 256-bit value. The following other algorithms are employed in GPU mining. Script, which uses password-based key functions and has a 2.5-minute block generation time. The most energy-efficient algorithm is X11, which was made to withstand ASICs and requires 30% less GPU power. ET Hash, formerly known as Dagger Hashimoto. This was created to be ASIC-resistant and is mostly used for the currencies Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, and Expanse. On the off chance that you choose to begin mining BTC utilizing a GPU, you want to get yourself a decent mining rig. An apparatus is an articulation utilized for PCs that are designed for the sole reason of mining cryptographic money utilizing all the computational influence they have. The main center component of a mining rig is the number and sort of GPUs that will be utilized. Fixes generally have somewhere in the range of 2 and 8 GPUs that are associated with a CPU, a motherboard that can oblige association with numerous GPUs, and a proficient cooling network. These components are assembled in an apparatus outline, which is like a PC lodging, yet bigger. While making your mining rig, it's of key significance to be certain that all the equipment works flawlessly together, assembling serious areas of strength for a cost's large chunk of change since a GPU is one of the most costly PC parts. You need to check that the motherboard can deal with all the associated equipment, that the CPU is adequate to give the handling capacity to the motherboard, and that the GPUs can work with the other equipment as one. Likewise, you should make a sufficient cooling framework with however many coolers as important to guarantee that your apparatus doesn't overheat and get truly armed. This can occur if you don't watch out. Power utilization is exceptionally high while mining digital currency with an apparatus. So you either must be ready to take care of high power bills or set your mining rig up somewhere where the power is less expensive. One way or the other, the bills are one or more cost notwithstanding the underlying interest in the equipment. Building an apparatus and picking the most ideal that anyone could hope to find parts is a drawn out venture. You need to spend significant assets to begin benefiting after a few times and see all that cash return to you with a premium. Picking the right GPU for the gig is the key. Today, two principal producers rule the GPU business. Whether or not we are discussing gamers or Bitcoin diggers, Nvidia and AMD are the organizations that proposition top level GPU items fit for making the most proficient mining rigs. The GPU market is rapidly advancing, with new items being sent off at regular intervals. As of now, the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 Ti, AMD Radeon RX 5700 XT, and the GeForce GTX 1070 Ti are viewed as probably the best accessible GPUs for mining. As may be obvious, mining cryptographic money is somewhat intricate, and to begin getting it done, you ought to conclude cautiously on what sort of mining equipment you need to utilize. You should focus on a GPU since the principal part will do the hard work in the mining system. GPUs have been around for quite a long time. However, face rivalry from improved, trendy gadgets. They incorporate the field programmable gate arrays or FPGAs and the application specific integrated circuits or ASICs, which score better compared to the two CPUs and GPUs at performing hash estimations, a fundamental capability to blockchain the board in cryptographic money. We would love to know your thought on this as you comment. And that's all for today guys, I hope you loved the video. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell to know when there are more videos from us. Till next time, bye bye.